folks I've had some people ask about how I do my pepper powder. So I thought I'd do this video just to show you kind of what I do. I have a, a, a Nesco food dehydrator here. It looks a little dusty because it's been out on the porch. It, it's typically, I keep it out on the porch. Nikki's a little bit allergic to peppers, so I don't want her to be around that, but this is a really good food dehydrator. I've had this for probably 15 years and it never gives out. And so what I do, uh, I get the peppers. I've gone out and I've, I've cut a bunch of them. Uh, this thing is not dirty. It just has pepper residue on it. But I found the easiest way to do these is to uh, cut them with scissors. It's like way faster than doing it with a knife. So you get some food scissors like this. And these are all just little peppers from out in my garden. And I'm gonna slice them up here right quick. I can, I can go to town and get a whole bunch done really fast this way. I typically, you know, you, the, the smaller you get them, the quicker they're gonna dry. It doesn't take long. So I'm gonna kind of slice up, uh -oh. slice up some of the habanero there. A good little bit of them here that I've gotten from out in the garden just a few minutes ago. And I just put them all together. I put the sweet ones, the hot ones, the uh, in-between ones. <laughs> I just put them all together, dry them really well. Usually it takes for peppers. Now I usually go, and my temperature, I usually do about 140 degrees, about 140 degrees is what I set that thing on. I go for about, really I say, it takes about a day and a half, really about a day and a half, depending on how juicy your peppers are. I've got some bell peppers I'm going to put on here just in a minute. And uh, these are all kind of hot ones here, I think, most of them anyway. And what, what I do, I let I, I them get really good and dry. I don't want any moisture at all in them because I'm going to put them in a little Krups coffee grinder uh, after they're dry and grind them up real fine and make this powder out of them. And this powder is just exquisite in foods like, like scrambled eggs. Or I like to get dips. I like to get you know, just, uh, any dip that has yogurt or sour cream in it. And if I want to spice it up, really power it up with some, so, you know, there's a lot of vitamins and stuff in peppers and they're very low calorie, but they just, they're just packed with flavor. They're just, just the, the ultimate flavor to me is, uh, is pepper flavor. And so I love to like really uh, hit these things hard, <laughs> hit, hit my food hard with peppers. Anything that goes good, pizzas, uh, soups in particular, Almost any kind of soup, you put this stuff in it, and man, does it bring it to life. A lot of times on other vegetables, I'll put, uh, uh, you know, like, say we have some uh, broccoli or some some peas or uh, beans and stuff, I'll put a little bit of pepper powder on them, too. So basically, just getting these all, these little cayenne peppers, you just barely slice them. Some of them almost dry themselves. But the more I can get air to them, like the ones like that right there, they'll dry way faster if you slice them up a little bit. So I grind these things up, make sure they're good and, uh, and dry. And I put them into a big plastic container, the, the, the pepper, after I've, after I've ground them up. It's looking pretty good right there. You can stack them a little bit on top of each other, it don't matter. The air will, will, will get through to them. I do all my pepper work outside. It does, it, 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 Nikki can't hardly breathe around them sometimes. I try to be real sympathetic to that situation. So what you got, you got multi-levels of this. Here's another, like I say, they don't think these things are dirty. They just have dried peppers. The pepper sticks sometimes. I do wash these about once. I, I use these over and over and over again. I have some big bell peppers. Some of these have some bad spots in them, so I'm going to cut these out if it's a place that's bad. Typically, to do a bell pepper, I just go right through the middle like that, slice it one time, then pull it open like so. And then I can just slice these up pretty quick. They're big, fleshy peppers. Man, that's good stuff right there. And these, these things, you can put literally a thousand peppers into a... Uh, into a one container when you've dried all the water out of. 
what I do, there's a local, uh, there's a uh, store I go to, a, a uh, farmer's store, and, and, and when they get toward the end, the peppers will start getting a little bit soft. They'll sell, you, they'll sell you a whole box for five bucks of bell peppers, a big old box. This box over here beside me that I have, I bought for five bucks, and I had must have had 50 peppers in there for five dollars. And so that the ones were getting a little squishy, they just uh, sell them that cheap. Just go get those. And since you're going to dehydrate them anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, it would matter if you're going to eat them, you know, in a fajita or something. They could they'd be maybe a little crisper or something. It does not bother me that they're like this. Just slice those babies up here. There is a. Um, Radiation oncologist locally, Dr. Greg Jones, who really believes in the power of peppers to uh, help you not have colon cancer, to prevent colon cancer. So I'm just letting you know, there's, there are some studies that suggest that, that the chemicals and stuff in peppers can help you uh, avoid cancer, various kinds of cancer. So, and Greg, Greg eats a lot of my pepper powder. He's actually, he calls me up once in a while, Tony, you got some more of that pepper powder? And I try to share with him because he loves peppers. Man, totally loves peppers. Hey, Hendrix. Through this in a minute, buddy. So, yeah, I will dry these for, I would say, about a day and a half. Some of these little brown spots on these don't bother me at all. Like I say, when they're, when they're dried up, they don't matter a bit. It's not raw, it's just little old spots on them. Boy, these are really wet, these. I cut that one spot out of that one. And the interesting thing is when you dry these peppers and, and you pick up one of the one of the sweet sweet ones and put it in your mouth after they're dry, they really are very sweet. They're almost like candy. You wouldn't believe that unless you tried it. It, 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 it's, it just totally fully concentrates all the flavor that's in there, all that sugar that is in the pepper. I think I have like 10 or 12 racks that I use for these. I'm shooting this with the GoPro Hero 10. <clears throat> Kind of, it's, it's kind of low light right now. It's uh, evening. The sun's getting ready to go down. So this is also sort of a test of low light for the GoPro Hero 10. Just want to see how it works in low light. So this was kind of a cool thing to do for that test. I've already kind of done a, an audio test with music. Just want to see how, how the audio would record. It has very small microphones in it, of course. I'm shooting from up above. I'm shooting in 5K. So I can zoom in. I'll probably just put this out in 1080p. I'll be able to reframe my shots because I shot it in 5K. It's actually kind of relaxing slicing papers. <laughs> just be careful not to slice your finger. You don't get in a hurry. You can nip the tip of your finger with these scissors. They're very sharp. I usually do. I don't like for my heating element to sit on top of the vegetables like that. So I usually put a, a blank. I'll show you. I usually put an empty rack up on top like this just for as a spacer. And this is going to go here. Like so. Oh. By the way, this is the Krebs coffee grinder that I use to grind these things. So once they're uh, they're dry, you just put them all in there. You do it a little bit at a time, but it doesn't take too long to, to do a whole thing like this. Once these are dry, you'll see there's not a whole lot to not a whole lot to them. They, they dry up to almost nothing. Just pure flavor. So there we go. The rest of the peppers I have here. I don't know, I could have salvaged that one maybe. I could have done one more rack. Right. 
So this is the next morning. This has been going about maybe 12 and a half hours. I started to show you how they how they've dehydrated already. You hold this in at the same time. There you go. That's how much dehydration happened in the last uh, 12 hours. You know, you see that. They're getting close. I like to let them go about another. Might be, might be getting done a little faster than usual. Pretty cool. So those will go into that uh, grinder there as soon as they're 100% dry. Hendrix has one of the squeak, squeak toys. Crazy. That is so obnoxious. <laughs> Pretty morning down in the valley, it looks like. You crazy dog.